Hello and welcome to another iOS development tutorial. In this video series, we're going to be taking a look at gesture recognition in iOS. Now, both the iPhone and iPad are, of course, multi-touch devices, which means the users can interact with these devices with more, with a finger or m multiple fingers. And we as developers need to be able to sometimes detect um, how many fingers the user used on screen, whether they actually tap the device, uh, and things like that. Now, luckily for us, iOS has some really nice classes that we can use to make that detection. I've got a list up on screen, and you'll see that there's quite a few that you can actually use. There's the tap, which is done via the UI tap gesture recognizer class. There's the long press. There's a pinch, rotating. There's also swiping, which is really popular sometimes within UIs. Um, there's panning, and of course, shaking. Now we're going to start off the series and this particular tutorial by taking a look at the UI tap gesture recognizer. And this is what allows us to detect either single taps or double taps on screen. So let's get started right away. Our first stop, of course, is Xcode and we want to select a project template. And what we're going to be building as part of this project is a very simple application. It's going to have a single view. When the user taps on screen, it's going to fire off either a um, uh, you know an NS log message or if you so desire you can create a different object and affect that object based on the number of taps the user has made uh, on screen so what we're going to do here is start off like I said with the single view application I'm just going to select that I've already gone to file new project in Xcode I'm running Xcode version 4.2 so if you're running at least that or later you should be able to follow along just fine so single view application I'm gonna hit next and I'm just going to name this Tap Gesture Recognizer. And we're going to set the device to iPhone and we'll use Arc. I'm going to hit Next. And we'll just save it on the desktop. Hit Create. And I'll give Xcode a couple seconds to index the files it needs to. Um, and you'll notice that we've just got a simple set of files. Now, because this is a very, very simple application, we actually will not even need to do anything within the NIP file. We'll just go straight to our implementation file. And you'll see that we've got the standard methods that come with this template as a default. Now, we're going to be doing most of our work in the view did load method. And here's the nice part. We don't really have to implement or import any kind of frameworks into our project to allow for uh, just recognition. Um, all we have to do is instantiate a couple objects. So what we will do here is we'll, we'll say first instantiate our UI tap gesture recognizer. And that's done by creating an instance of this particular class, UI tap gesture recognizer. And we're just going to call this maybe tap rec recognizer. So we say UI tap rec gesture recognizer, we do an alloc pretty standard stuff and when we do an init it'll be init with target and action so when we do an init with target we just need to specify what's you know which class is going to implement the object uh, that we want to uh, you know do gesture recognition on so in our case we're not really doing an object or anything we're just going to do this particular class um, and even if we were doing an object it would normally be within this class so we would just hit self um, action is where we're allowed to specify a selector and what this means is we can specify which method gets fired or called when this tab is detected so we can now make up a method name so I'm just gonna make up a method called tap responder and we will of course have to implement this method for this code to be able to work okay with that done we have to set a couple more things one we want to set the number of taps needed for the gesture to be recognized so do we want it to be a single tap or a double tap in our case I'm just going to say tap recognizer dot number of taps required to be one which means this will be a single tap we also can set the number of fingers that need to be on the screen for the gesture to be recognized so the number of fingers that need to be on the screen for the gesture to be recognized. All right, so we'll again say tap recognizer dot number of touches required. We'll set that to one as well. And last but not least, we need to add this UI tap gesture recognizer object 
to whatever object we want to recognize these tabs on. So since we've got a very simple project, we do not have any kind of special object, no UI image views or anything that we want to detect this on. So we're just going to add it to our view. So we'll just say add the gesture recognizer to our view. So the way we will do that, we'll say self dot view add gesture recognizer. It takes a parameter value of a UI gesture recognizer. Guess what? We've got one of those. So we'll just pass that in. Command S to save. And there we go. We've completed most of our code. Now there is one more thing that we need to do, which is we need to implement this method so that it can get called and we can do whatever we want um, once that tap is detected. So we'll just create a instance method of type void and we will say tap responder it takes a parameter which is going to be a UI tap gesture recognizer and we'll just call it sender keep it simple okay now that we've got that we can just simply do something like NS log single tap detected command us to save and there we are we can now run this application tap on our uh, view and you know get a, a log message that says a single tap was detected so let's go ahead and command us one more time command R to run And here we go, we get a, like I said, a simple application. There's nothing on the screen except this particular view. When I tap this view, I immediately get a single tap detected message because the single taps being detected and our uh, method tap responder gets fired, tap it again, again, I get the single tap detected. So that's how you detect single taps within iOS. Now, of course, our next question should be, well, what if I want to detect double taps instead of single taps? Well, that's really easy to do. All we have to do is go up here in our viewed load method and change this particular variable where it says number of taps required. We just change that property to be two. And of course, it may make sense for us to change our NS log message. You don't have to, but since we're now detecting double taps, we can do that. So command S to save, command R to run, and we are now running our application. Now, I'm just going to do a single click or a single tap and you'll see nothing happens. Our method is not fired. I try that again, nothing happens. Now if I do a double tap or a double click, there you go, a double tap is detected. Again, single click or single tap does nothing, double tap fires the double tap detected message. So hopefully you can now see how easy it is to implement gesture recognition within iOS, especially the tap gesture recognizer. Uh, hopefully you can implement this in your applications. So good luck programming. Thanks for watching.